Hi, pre-notification boys. I know, rocking the black shirt tonight. Hold on. Hi everyone. Don't have any onions. Yeah, I hope it's a good game. Tomorrow Luigi's Mansion comes out though, so this is gonna have to be like a crazy good game to make me not play Luigi's Mansion on launch. Or a short game. Thanks for the resub, Pixel. I heard it's a really good game. I'll be the judge of that for myself. We'll see. Am I gonna go dark playthrough? Yeah, I don't know what that means. What is that, like a genocidal run through? Luigi's Mansion is garbage. What? what kind of shit ass taste is that? Thanks to the Prime Reactor, number four. Am I gonna stream Luigi's Mansion? Yeah. Absolutely. Thanks to the Prime Paul Bunyan and the Resub Trevenator. Make Zittler 2.0. Is there a character creator in this game? Do I have any meth? No. You've come to the wrong place at the wrong time for meth. <clears throat> Alright. Let's get into it. I know absolutely nothing about this game. The fat tier one, welcome aboard, Wolfie ninety nine, in the prime cornflake. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated Thanks by the prime Wolfie. guacamole man boy. A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own. Same empty. I haven't seen anything from this, except for a couple of gameplay clips, which looked alright. I watched a little bit of the speed run for this game. You can beat this game in under 30 minutes. You can just run to the end. It was a really boring speed run. There was like no tricks or glitches or anything, but apparently you can just like bolt right to the end. Another tier one already. Appreciate the generosity. Welcome aboard, Trav12. And the resub, Victor. And that's a weird bug. Thanks to the resub, Matt. Thanks to the Prime Dark and Guzzy Bear. Hundreds of thousands of colonists 
I turned subtitles on. I don't know why they're not showing up. Thanks for the resub, Cam Bowie. No, that's not what I, I just want to access the options. Which I can't do. I bet you could arm wrestle a primal. Hmm. I think I'll go for... Well, what should I do? Thanks for the resub, Sheik. And the prime Kazakh. What would be something fun? An interesting little playthrough. I'll, I'll be the ugliest motherfucker on the planet. With a bad attitude. Oh, wait. That doesn't do anything for me. That's all right, friend. I'll be the brains for both of us. A pickpocket park okay. excellence. That looks good. Yeah, this looks good. He's not very smart, he's not very charming, but goddamn, can he use a lead pipe nicely. I, I could fuck with that. I'll make him like a little caveman. Ooh, I can put more points in, alright. I bet you're vicious with a toss ball stick. I want to be intimidating, so maybe I'll do dialogue shit. You could make a vicar doubt the law. <laughs> it sounds cool. I can just put the fear of God in anything that I attack and kill. Well, I mean, if I kill them, the fear of God's useless because they're dead, but I'm talking about, like, the people around them. It's pretty nice. I'll do that. Thanks for the resub, Spooky Squidward. And good luck, Harry. Godspeed. Thanks for the resub, Red Rider and Big Mace. Mm hmm. Can Looks good to me. Anything that increases melee. Choice frozen dinner. Hmm. What kind of man do I want to make? That's a very boyish looking face. Maybe I'll make like a really strong toddler. An adult male that looks like a nine year old boy but hits like a 50 year old bodybuilder who's been off the scene for a little bit. Now he's just kind of looking like a Vulcan. God, he's looking like an anime lolly now. Perfect. Which is what I want. Thanks for the resub, Nalander. He looks like the annoying orange face right now. I'm not overly pleased with what I've created thus far, but I'm assuming I can make it better. It's pretty anime. That's pretty kawaii. Thanks to the Prime 1 HP Slayer and the Resub Hamburger Meat. Love Neil Breen.
None of this really screams I like anime. The old Pennywise haircut. It's fair. Ah, I can make the Joker! That's what I'll do. really screams Joker to me. What the fuck did Joker's makeup look like on his eyes? He had something on his eyes, right? He had like the little diamonds or something underneath him. I can't really do that here. Lipstick either. Ooh, there we go. Kinda. And I just need to find the right makeup. And that's not it. But it needs to be like a dark red, which is what I'm looking for. Because you can put the little smile on him, kinda. Oh well. That's the best she's gonna get. This is my attempt at a Joker cosplay in space. You don't want to know how we got these scars. What's your name? Fuck. Next to the resub bobcat. Scamboli, what a classic. Thanks to the resub seven. Um, I don't really know what to call him. Thanks to the prime Xano society. That's eh, kind of easy. Thanks to the resub cornbread. Not that it's going to be necessarily, you know, the most groundbreaking character of subtlety or anything. I'll just call them Kotaku, which is kind of poetic since they're going under their shitty little articles and fear mongering about Joker and, you know, video games causing violence and stuff. I think that could be poetic in space. He looks good to me. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Thanks to the resub Muff Buff and the hundred bits Tariffson. Not likely, bootlickers. Well, I don't know why the subtitles aren't working. <clears throat> Am I gonna moist me to this? Maybe. It's been out for a little bit though. All cutscenes, or uh, all subtitles are turned on, I think. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Still Bit can't. bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. That's not bad. <laughs> Reviving someone <laughs> after so long... Thanks for the resub, Jurassic. results. Oh, that's sweet. Thanks for the prime splash. Oh, yes. Well, 
not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies, saving you. There's the prime clearance. I ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. He's a robot, I'm calling it. Can I put on the... Nope. <sighs> Try and suck my own dick in this? This game has uh, self-fellatio mechanics. Auto-fellatio. Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes. A smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur. Are your eyes closed? The fucking subtitles are on. I Jesus Christ. One of a kind ship that Can I access settings? Oh, there we go. Hmm. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. Right to that, Phineas. <laughs> Ura. As they say on Earth. Thanks to the resub, Houston. I did enjoy New Vegas. I don't have Battlefield 5, and I absolutely would not be playing it tomorrow, even if I did, because Luigi's Mansion 3 comes out tomorrow, so. Ah, you've landed good! Mm -hmm. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Oh, he's dead. What a shame. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Oh, look at the alien uh, lizards. It's uh, Stitch. Or Lilo. Fuck, I don't remember. Which one was the alien in Lilo and Stitch? It's one or the other. I haven't seen Lilo and Stitch in like fucking 15 years at least. And I never really liked it. Uh, see now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. I don't need to use that. Hey, you. What's up, pussy? You try the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stinks. Ah, yeah, I'll patch him up. I have low intelligence, so I'll probably end up giving him sepsis. Or, like, injecting him with cholera or something. Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I oh, owe you one. I got lucky. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. He's very hard on himself. Marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Great work, Felham. Investigating an illegally grounded ship. All spacecraft must arrive and depart from authorized landing pads. That's board law, that is. Some hullhead grounded their spacecraft out in the open. 
That's a real good way to attract marauders. What a fucking idiot. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? It's a good, it's a good plan. Ooh. What would be best for me? I have... I don't think I have any points in persuasion or lying, but I'm pretty sure my intimidating is my best bet. But they all say one, so maybe I'm wrong. But I'm only going to be intimidating to everyone I meet in the world. Yeah, you sound a lot like my lieutenant. Here, hope this gun serves you better than it did me. You bet your ass Here, it will. You can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All space. Thanks to the tier one, Bullivan. Thirty percent less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Don't you ever hit me with a company slogan again. Oh, do I need to blow these up? Damn it, my ears! Ugh. Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What is this? Oh, big shot! I entered vats. We're going to be eating good for all of three seconds with that space meat. Yeah! Oh, good dodge. Oh. Thanks to the reset, Demorius, Master Buffalo, and Chicken Slayer. I don't know who the Corridor crew is. Oh, you mean the Corridor on YouTube? I hit the wrong button. Oh, I didn't. Jesus. I'm just trying to pick up my space meat. your cam why just so you can see my health okay I hate that I hate having to move this shit around for like every game because there is no one good spot that's universal yeah why can't I pick this up I thought it'd be a hacking mini game. Hiya! Wow. Fucking annihilated that guy. Hiya! Huge! I'm popping off, baby. Get over here before you get yourself killed. Oh, these good guys. I don't care. I'll intimidate them all the same. Stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. I just killed five of them. <sighs> you pulling my Keep leg? yourself in that top I, I left mean, corner. That's yeah, the best course. possible spot. Fuck seeing the health bar. Like Agreed. I'm all by myself. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs, son. Um. Oh, this is big. That's a big intimidate. Seriously? But those marauders will. Ugh. You know what? You're right. 
It's time we cross those marauders off, <coughs> whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Let's fuck them in the ass, as they say in Spacer's Choice. You've tried the rest, now try the butthole. Something like that. Give me cover fire. Good work. That was easy. That's what they were so worried about. contains no valuable plunder. Unauthorized access of space-faring vessels is a crime. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. What's up, Ada? Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Can I intimidate the AI? Can I just be so imposing that even artificial intelligence trembles in fear? I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Well, that's rough. Gesture procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to reject all forces. Don't do that. In five, four, three, two, one. Uh, I guess I'll go with dumb. I don't, I don't know if the game's calling my character dumb or what that means, but I'll do it. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. That sucks. Your programming sucks ass. Why would a robot ever need to feel disappointment? What a waste. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I understand. I will require some time to process Jesus, a robot that grieves that too? Fuck, what does it also do? Sleep, eyes. fart, shit, come? I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? No, nope, I'm dumb. I don't know what you mean. Excellent. Welcome back, Captain Hawthorne. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power <clears throat> regulator has been irreparably damaged, and must be replaced. Astutely observed. However, Whew. the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. What a pretentious power robot. Power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Yeah, baby. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. Do you understand? Yes. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. That was easy. Who's this old bitch? Thanks for the resub, Spidey. Well, I'm doing full melee. That's all I care about. I just want to run around fucking walloping things. Thanks to the resub, Khan. That looks good to me. Well, I'm doing only melee perks as well. You old battle axe. Hmm. 
Damn, nothing that improves melee? Well, I'll do health then. Thanks to the prime snap. The navigation console is offline at this time, Captain. Weapon durability is nice. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. Intimidate. Intimidate. Ooh, I kind of like that. Ooh, but she seems kind of like a good-hearted woman. I don't know if I want to murder her in cold blood. I haven't decided on what kind of character I want to make for sure yet. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. I'll let it slide. Too far. Just follow the road east of here. Oh, Thanks to the tier one Omega eighteen four ten. Inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Whatever. I'm out. You lose reputation if you kill people that are on your side. Is she on my side? What side am I on? You a bad guy? Oh, it's a bad guy. Thanks to the prime page. Yeah. God, I'm strong. Don't do it. You'll regret it. I told you. Their best bet is to just not engage me if I don't see them. I'm just playing on normal difficulty. Oh, thanks, Mitchell. Oh, hey. Where'd you come from? <gasps> What's up, pussy? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory. Oh, uh, God forbid I encounter some of those. They're basically just pinatas out here. You talk too pretty for a marauder. Thanks to the resub, Okami. Most of them just grunt and yell. Ain't the resub bin talks. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater. I like the Backstreet Boys. And low, low prices. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. Thanks to the resub, I Zeus. Your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Alright. Well, that's... That's nice and goofy, I guess. Definitely not the junior in humor. That's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should Thanks to the fat tier one, Mitchell. Office. Appreciate the generosity. The tower above the cannery. And the resub pyro. The town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? I have no idea. Got a knack for being discreet like? There's money to be made. <coughs> keep your nose clean. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Whew. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. I don't care, Silas, to be honest with you. Oh, he wants me to get him money. Silas, you got a good head on your shoulders, full of wrinkles. I'll do it for you. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig... And Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Alright. By twist his arm, he means chop it off with my melee only build. Confirmed. How do I choose my active quests? Thanks for the dollar, Watson. Thanks to the resub, Nicholas. 
Oh, that was sweet. Thanks, man. All right, this is where the first guy is. Pay the man for uh, his grave or something. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are Thanks for the resub, Josh. Germs. If you only Physical knew the half hygiene. of it. Recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. What a nerd. No, thank you. That's quite all right. I've seen enough body parts in my line of work. Aren't you a barber? I'm Conrad. What are you like you sucking dick for free haircuts or something? What do you mean? Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. You are such a fucking nerd. My god, what a dweeb! I mean, that I can't possibly pay my gravesite fees. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into Thanks, a Thanks, Broke. Uh, I don't like your attitude. With what? My own blood? If that's what we need. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. What are the medical rights? Thanks for the resub, Puff. Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the oh, law, sorry, man. and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers! No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. Ooh. I'm open to suggestions. Give him the shirt off your back. That's like some old western shit. Yeah, for sure. Like spit in your hand and then shake his hand with it or something. Much obliged. Oh, one down. Who's next? Uh, alright. So now Ludwig. Landing pad canary cannery. Hey Charlie, and his own just house. got my first job, which means I can donate. It's at a pet store, so I get to pet dogs every day. It'll give them all your love. Oh, that's great. Congratulations on your first job, Lindsay. Good shit. What is this place? The constable. I'll pass. I have too much on my plate as is. Thanks to the resub, faded. What is this? Terminal? I don't feel like hacking computers right now. Damn, this place is huge. Oh, don't mind if I do. Well, don't mind if I do. This house is just here for me to steal from. Cool. Is there toilet mechanics? No. What the fuck am I looking for now? The cannery? Um... Guard post and then some dude's house. Thanks to the resub we have. Cannery worker? Nope. Cannery worker? Nope. Must be in here. Set it as my active quest? No. Oh. Well, that does simplify it. I didn't think it would show me side quests. You the new worker? Nope. Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. 
Thanks for the reset, Papa sent. Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Thanks for the prime easy. I paid the bill. As ye. I could do without the sarcasm. Wasn't acting out of the goodness of my heart. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative. Thanks for the prime, Daniel. Shame though. Eugene was a good worker. With a shitty name. Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handgun aren't the most reliable. So apparently this place just makes like Ford shitty bootleg fireworks. Oh, Jesus. You're the <laughs> Not fireworks. The world. Pistols. Nice pick for a butt plug for dem nudes. Aw, thanks Cuckoo. Appreciate that. And thanks for the 25. No, wait. Well, I'm already here. Christ, he's that far away? Oh, that's Silas. That's not who I need. It's the main fucking guy. I thought that was where the guard was posted. Thanks to the prime wet narwhal. Friend of mine died a couple of weeks ago. Yes, Mr. Thompson. <laughs> Pay up! Well, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? No, worse. Well, you tell Silas. Mr. Thompson, I'll be right at my post. Tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not playing. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. I think I'm gonna have to execute this man. Some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? Well, not necessarily. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Sounds like he's already told you. You may as well hear it from Thanks me. Thanks for the resub, Metro. I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching, and soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave, and now he wants to charge me for the other one. That's smart business, though. Don't you agree, Abernathy? That's double dipping. That's taking- it's eating your cake and- Having your cake and eating it, too. There's the expression I was looking for. Thanks for the reset, Velvet. Oh, wow. First time anyone's ever told me that. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see your way to freelancing for me, I could really use the help. Oh, hey. I'm sorry. I didn't mean nothing by it. I wasn't trying to insult you. Can you toss my salad? No. No, no, no. Absolutely not. Or it's just you ain't one of us. A spacer, I mean. Stands to reason you got no company looking after you. Not your fault, though. Even freelancers gotta eat. <sighs> and if that means they must scratch some bits out of odd jobs, who am I to judge them? At least you're not a deserter. I don't really... Well, I'll hear about it. hours out of your day and some light second story work. That's all. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. Oh, I can save him? I need you to break I'll it. pass. Nab that medicine and bring it back to me. No, I'm good. 
I oh, yeah, I'll do it. Fuck it. Can you oblige me with your haste? I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. All right, I'll do that soon. You're making a mistake. I'm still missing one guy, though, besides this barber, right? What can I do? Go ahead. I've always loved your stuff so much that when I watched Lost your sumo Tory dreams, did I actually shat myself. I wouldn't call them good workers, mind you. Thanks, Lewis. I hope you don't poop your pants too often. Still. It is a shame. Good shit, though, man. Company policy, friend. We don't have enough medicine to treat all of us, so we treat the best among us. We're a sensible people. All right, so there's clearly something I'm missing here. Do I just steal from him? I will straight rob your ass if I need to. Oh, can I hack his bitcoins? Hmm. That's a big scandal. What can I do for you? <gasps> You're a fucking liar, and I'm sending you to jail. You know about Eugene? How? I read your computer, it's unlocked. Then, you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it now. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. And he's a hero for it. More than a few. Those teeth were his personal savings. <sighs> I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? Might as well. Yes, I suppose I must. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed <clears throat> with my signature and an IOU. All right, great. Last one. The volume is so low. That's weird. It's not low for me. Here, I'll turn it up on stream, maybe. It's kind of loud on stream already, though. Dong on titties. Amen, baby. Dong on tits. Might as well. What's up, Ludwig? Wow, you're old. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Thanks to the Prime Demon Slayer. You ever swung a truncheon? Nope. Let me see your rifling stance. Nope. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. I'm not. Just pay your fucking bills. <sighs> Shit. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, Ludwig. Thanks for the tier one braid blow. Am I RPing anything in particular? What do you mean am I role playing anything in particular? Not not really, I'm just playing the game. I mean, I didn't, like, dress up for it or come up with my own personal headcanon. Fancy threads. That's some kind of hibernation suit? Don't know what that means. Well, I know what hibernation means, but I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what I look like. You run into any trouble? Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. 
Then I'll buy you a drink sometime. Uh, suppose you've earned it. Yeah, baby. Deserves another. I'm squeezing every last bit of milk from this man's tits right now. Easy. Abernathy was sick? With the plague? That's disgusting. I shook hands with the guy. What? No. If I knew he was sick, I would have had him reported. Well, sorry, Abernathy. fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you see? Yeah? No. I don't really need to know any of that. Well, now that Abernathy's about to get killed, I don't know if it's even worth doing his uh, quest. How far away is it? It's really far away. Rest in peace, Abernathy. There was nothing we could do. <laughs> How do I like the game? Well, it's been under an hour. I haven't really gotten into the game very much. So, we'll see. Ludwig quest, por favor. Didn't... Oh, did he have a quest for me? I just didn't go deep enough in his dialogue trees. Oh, maybe. Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. That's fine. Cool derby hat. Fucking dweeb, what, are you going to a horse race or something? Space horses? I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Because I don't live here. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Only regulator we got is. Whoa, what's up, girl? Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. No deal. I'd rather get fried. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, I don't trust him. You can have their regulator and be along on your way. He's up to some no good shit. The geothermal plant was built by our owners. Spacer's choice. Lit up the whole Vale once upon a time. Most of the Vale is now abandoned. All that power is going to waste. Can you just send me? I don't. I. I just want to. I was not entirely want to do sure this. To tell you this. I'm sold. You don't need to keep going into detail. But Fuck my there are running. people who live. There. Well, let's do it. Oh, we're gonna be really racist, I guess. Do just a full racist playthrough. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. Thanks to the Prime Osmond disciplining an unruly child. Osmandius. will be doing them a kindness. The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need Thanks to the resub, Harry P. Home. Okay, let's do it. Good law, no, I don't want you killing anyone, least of all them. Oh. My hope is no deal then. Off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. I wonder if I could just murder everyone in town and team up with Adelaide. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. 
Damn, she's trying to hop on this schmeat right in I front of her dad. Part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Yes. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and Ooh. hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, thank you. Just like in Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Luck to you. And thank you again for your a help. lady engineer? There's a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. So, a change of plan, though. I am still going to murder everyone over there. Uh, ideally. You ready to rumble? How long am I going to stream for? I don't know. I don't plan that out. We'll see. Change my FOV. Well, I want it set up by default. 75. Yikes. Oh, that's better. Hey, mister. Can we talk? God, what? What do you want? Let's talk. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but... Well, I don't care, Parvati. What, are you, like, romantically interested in me already? He ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. It's just, he doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a Thanks the prime ghost jet does rock. its job quiet like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Boo fucking who? It won't stop me from murdering them in cold blood. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. Yes. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. Right. It just... Me. It don't seem right to me, mister. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Ooh. Oh, God. Alright, I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, well, I need to talk to her to find out where he is, I guess. Yeah. Huh? Alright, I can't talk to her to find out where he is. Thanks to the Prime P Dog. Oh, never mind. I see they divide it for me. Oh, I'm fucking speed running out of here. Well, he's inside the building. Join me on the roof. Oh. I've always felt weird in here. Please. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. Nope. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. Why well, say full I so name? I rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison. Anything at all. Spiritual counseling. This season's toss ball predictions. The quickest way out of town. I really don't want to be talking to you, to be honest, Max. But what? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the oh, floor, she's in love. answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. Yes, ideally. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk.
<sighs> I wonder, would answering everything with the dumbest shit option be the most effective way? And could I build up a reputation to be the dumbest man on the planet? Where every time I start a conversation, they put it in the simplest and quickest terms? I'm curious. I see today we'll be conversing without metaphors. I'd guess her condition is incurable. It's unlikely to be fatal, but she may feel more heartache than most. Could you maybe stop talking about me like I'm some kind of weird bug? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. You've got it! Fuck, my eyes at you now. Hold on. Sorry, Max. Alright, had an itchy eye. Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. I'm not worried about danger. The marauders I met when I ventured outside the walls might agree with you. <sighs> Bastards snuck up on me while I was dutifully hunting for a banned book in a collector's library. Barely escaped with my life. But you see, one of the reasons I transferred here was to get my hands on that heretical text. If you managed to acquire it for me, I'd pay quite a handsome sum for the book. No deal. Wow. That's a cute option. What? Uh, you seem the perfect type to go blindly into the wild on a suicidal quest. Thank you. I'm looking for a journal, a handwritten book, with the name M. Bokonu on the cover. I'll pay you to find it. Much simpler. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. You've got it. Fucking book nerd. Are they part of the same? Yeah, they're part of the same quest, it seems. Everyone's sticking up for this trash game or hella fanboys. This shit reuses assets every other RPG used first. I think you're misunderstanding what it means to reuse an asset. Did they go to, like, the stock store and use those assets? Because that's what that means. If you say, if you're saying they use the same themes and storytelling, then that's just kind of being in the same genre, wouldn't you agree? What do you play, like Call of Duty and shit? You realize that's just the same thing over and over as well, right? I didn't make the game, so if you don't like it, I don't really care. And so far, it's a little too slow for my taste as well, at least in comparison to like Fallout New Vegas. But that's just a really fucking dumb statement to reuse assets when you're using it incorrectly. Thanks for the fat tier one Pinutso. Mmm, easy 600 XP already. Oh wait, I should need to level up. I'm just putting everything in the melee. Be careful, Parvati. There's uh, IEDs. old are you, Idaho? You you keep using assets, but you, I don't think you know what that means. It's fine not to like the game. Everyone's sucking each other's cocks in this chat. You're sucking your own cock, and you're using your words wrong, man. Make like a coherent argument, and you'll get people to agree. People were shitting on the game before you came in here with your fucking middle school penis and flopped it on the table. Just make a better argument, man. 
Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? Yes. Why the fuck do I care about a book? Oh wait, I get a dumb option. That'd be the garden, dear. You're standing in a garden. Also fertilizer, so mind your boots. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Damn, her eyes are super green. Oh, Damn, her eyes are super green, too. Robert's girl. Fucks up with these spacers cadets. I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobaccorn tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been clean. I'd prefer if it was dirty. <sighs> Sound more appetizing. Well, this isn't exactly what he sent me to do, though. I'm trying to cut off their power. Reed Why are her eyes changing color? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? Yeah, I don't think you're gonna like his idea of peace. It's cutting off your power to starve you to death, and hopefully you'll come back to town, if that sounds like fun. Uh, this is the more honest answer, but I think this will be the one that gets me more in there. Thanks to the reset wolfgasm. Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. <sighs> yeah. You're doing this for Reed. Why? He asked me to. Really? That's about it. Cannery's got a regulator. You want chip parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. Why, they've been nice You're to me. Down to the plant. You should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Yeah, you know, I don't know what the fuck the cannery is, lady. You say hero? Oh, I'm, I'm mixed up now. Well, if it's all the same to you, then you ought to divert power over to us, shut down Reed's <clears throat> cannery, and scrap it for parts. You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery. Living off whatever scrap spacers choice. To be fair, it does look like shit, but you're out here you living like true, don't you, in the Walking Dead Your universe. Doesn't look that good either. His heart gave out. He he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and of course I'll stream Luigi's mansion, man. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. You're right, Adelaide. I will cut the power to both places and take two power regulators in case one breaks on my next trip. Thank you. I trust you will listen to your conscience. I'm listening to what suits me best. I don't think you're gonna like my decision, Parbati. Uh, just a little lost here. Parvati, you wouldn't happen to know the layout here, would you? How do I get out the back door? Am I playing on Supernova? What the fuck does that mean? Oh. No, I don't think I'm playing on Supernova or anything like that. God damn you and your fucking IEDs. Fucking pinballing me around. Adelaide, I was on your side until right then. Good to see you again, Adelaide. Oh, that's Thomas. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. Parvati, watch out for the IEDs. 
They're active. Jesus. I don't know how that hit me from there. Thanks for the prime, Tommy. Charlie, the assets of these assets are needed for the discussion of why the assets are not different from the assets. You're not wrong. These assets. I'll tell you about these assets. They didn't differ from the assets. At least that's what the experts are saying. Oh god! However will I get over this? Yeah. Oh. Perhaps they've outsmarted me. Yeah. Oh, that was easy. Good traps, boys. Oh, Parvati's getting blasted. At least I'm safe. Thanks for the resub, Cerebus. Thanks for the resub, Gopnik. Is Idaho even still here? I'm talking about his assets, and he might not even be here to defend them. Why would I make her go home? She's helpful. All unarmed and shit. Thanks for the resub, not knife life. Um. Wait, oh fuck, wait, did I just, uh, shit, did I send this back to the cannery? I thought I'd have, like, options in here. Okay, well, it failed, so it didn't work anyway, good. I'm gonna take Adelaide's side. Three switches. That'll be easy enough. Oh, wait. If I want to take Adelaide's side, I shouldn't even be at this plant, because this is their plant. Hold on. Come with me, Parvati. Oh, I do stay here for it? Why How would I do that? It's the same plant? Chance. It's pretty dated graphically and gameplay-wise, but I am loving it. I just started. This is literally like the first mission where it's anything more than dialogue. It seems fine so far. Oh, uh, just hacking. Uh, there we go. That'll work. Thanks for the tier one, Murar. Appreciate the tier one. That was a close one. Good work, Parvati. We got him. Watch out for the mechanical sentry! What are you doing, Parvati? Good shooting! hacking skill. I put my intelligence to zero. Yeah, of course I'm playing on PC. Uh, big hack. Confirmed. You got this game for a dollar? Good deal, man. What, did you go to like a GameStop or something and they're so desperate they're just giving it away? Oh, it's on Game Pass, gotcha.
Don't worry, I got it. Who said that? I see him. This guy doesn't even attack me when I'm jumping. His programming did not extend that far. Ooh, wait a minute. I think I may have discovered a speedrunning strat. No, shit. I'll kill this thing. Don't kill the combat drone, Parvati. Oh, and I need to regain health. Alright, I only need one. Yeah! No. I thought it gave me like a super bounce the first time I did it, but I guess not. Thanks for the tier one was new. Was new? Yeah, I think I got it. Yeah, I know I can command my companion. I noticed that with Z and X. I just don't really need to. I'll let her do her own thing. I'm playing on normal difficulty, and this seems like just kind of a, a breeze. What's up, Kata? Why would I repair my weapon when I have like five more of these weapons? Ah, that's fine. I don't need to do that. How do I unequip now? <laughs> How do I get rid of this? Once we do this, there's... And I can compare it, but it's kind of useless. Do I just have to... Yep, and just drag it. No, nope, maybe not. Okay, why can't I get rid of it? Thanks for the resub, Mike. Mid-action, so I can't do that? I'm not mid-action, I just put that sword up there. Thanks for the resub, Sucketh. Ah, right, I forgot I didn't switch weapons, that would be why. Nice. Hey, mister? Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? Yeah, I'm about to fuck someone up. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all the way. I agree with you, though. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Now that is inspirational, Parvati. Hmm, this is gonna be a tough one. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. I kind of just want to fuck them both. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? No, not re I'm, I'm going to look out for number one and take both your generator or regulators, you know what I mean? I'll keep listening. Well, that sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. 
The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Hmm. Cutting off their power might be the only way. Ah ha ha ha, what if we vote? JK JK. Unless? Thanks, Umbrella Oof. What's my decision? Sorry, I didn't mean to babble off like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. What gets me the most out of this? That's cute. I respect my women, even in video games. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. Alright. Well, now that I've made my decision... Wait, who, who am I... Re who am I redirecting this to? So if I redirect this, this goes to Edgewater, right? So if I don't redirect it, then it stays at the Vale. Oh, you decide after continue? Okay. Ah, you're right. Let's see, what do- who- who deserves to get fucked the hardest? There wasn't anything I overly disliked about Edgewater. And I did get killed by IEDs at the Botanical Laboratory, so... You know... The lab kind of literally killed me. I'll let chat decide. It'll be our little decision here. That ugly guy. Nope. I don't know who the ugly guy is. Every character in this game is pretty fucking gross looking. Yeah, everyone's... It seems overwhelmingly to Edgewater. Alright. Good news, Parvati! The suffrage in sweatshops continue for another day. Thanks for the resub, Smith. Wait, why would I want to hack that? Fuck that. More melee. Uh... That looks good. Watch out, Parvati! Close call. Follow me. Damn it, I don't want to hack. Sprint speed is useless? Yeah, maybe in some loser's beta build or something, but I'm going for like this super chad shit where I storm the front lines with speed and aggression. Pardon me. I can get Adelaide to take over the town? Fuck that. If anyone's taking over the town, it'll be me. I'll march into Reed's office, slit his throat, and then I'll own the spacer's choice. Great news, Adelaide. I rerouted your power. But you don't have to say thank you. Are you mad at me? That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. 
Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped hey, no. you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. Hey, no. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil, and my flock will starve. So? I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? Uh, I needed the power regulator. Or, yeah, don't know, I like pressing buttons, yeah. Are you really this moronical, or are you mm. just putting on airs? Listen here. You don't want to know the answer. I'm only going to say this once. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. <sighs> You, you got it, Chief. Thompson, that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his... What if I slit his throat? Would that convince you? You offering to cross Reed off, huh? Well, it's not an offer. I'm telling you I'm going to do that. And you're welcome to come along for the ride if you'd like. for a chance to sow some chaos. Kill Reed if you must. Or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. You got it, Adelaide. All I know is violence. You're gonna love the birthday present I got you this year, Adelaide. Also, fuck Thomas and, uh... Grace. I don't care what you two have to say, I'm gonna go kill a man. Can I fast travel? Heading out. Wait, that's not it. There we go. The strongest, the strongest Irish accent you'll ever hear. Oh, nice. That sounds cute. Thanks for the resub, Damien. No, I'm not a bad guy. I'm about to be a fucking folk hero out here. Watch this. I'm charging it up, Reed. If you get hit by this, it's your own fault. Reed! I quit. No, it... You just killed Yeah, I told you I was going to do that right in front of Adelaide. Remember? We, like, you were in on this plan the whole journey here, and now you're acting, like, surprised that I did it. Mr. Thompson... Reed Thompson, you know, my boss? Yeah. I can't. I need to leave. I need to get away from here. I need to get away from you. Why? The town's about to get super good. <laughs> That's some, like, of mice and men shit right there. That's cute. You killed Mr. Thompson for talking down his nose at me? Yeah. You got a real twisted sense of chivalry, you know that? But you're wet, right? I'll just move on. I couldn't forgive myself if I let you loose upon the veil unsupervised. Oh yeah, that'll stop me. Oh god, evil men in costumes! Watch out! Those very well may have been good people, but defending the wrong man. Oh man, I chopped his head clean off. Look at that, like the headless horseman. Let's go tell Adelaide the good news. Adelaide, I've got some great news for you. Go, Jesus! This town is inhabited by evil folk! Adelaide! Bad guys! Or maybe I'm the bad guy. I don't know. The lines of morality are blurred. Adelaide, I've got some great news. Hostiles? Who's hostile? I'm a goddamn hero of this town. I 
I gotta take a piss real quick. I'll be right back. Ready when you are. Alright, I'll admit, I lied to you. I told you I was going to urinate, but I actually urinated and filled up my water. And I'm sorry. Thanks for the resub, Roman. Good luck on your gamer girl date. Adelaide, you won't believe what's happened over at Edgewater. Come back. Yeah, and I killed a man. You have a peculiar comfort with violence. Killing off my garden, gunning down. Gunning down? No, I walked in there with a machete and cut his no fucking head off. Our flock made our way Don't spread a rumor. We must tend to what remains of the town and carry on with our lives as best we may. You're vexing to me, you know. Thanks for the prime chance. Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. Here, I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a what? ransom. You understand, not a reward. But I wanted to... Why can't we be friends? You're telling Thanks for the prime, you did all this just to put me in charge of Edgewater. Stranger, you are some kind of twisted. But you're wet, right? I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. I need some time to gather my personals. Long walk back to Edgewater. Got a considerable burden to carry. What do you mean you have a considerable burden to carry? I murdered a man for you. Yeah, but tell me about your burden. Oh no, my, my plants. Oh no, my plants. Try chopping a man's head off in five guards. Why did Parvati level up? I feel like she should have got a lot, like, D-leveled or something. She hated what I did. Oh, cool melee weapon. I'm stealing it from her. No, I want it. Okay. And I can use this now, right? Thanks for the reset, Kaizen. You can use the revolver, I don't really care.
That sounds good. It's, it's decent so far. I do have to say, I'm not a huge fan of the pacing at the moment. I think it's just a little slow. Fuck yeah, I stole her weapon. Thanks, Parvati. Hey, great news, everyone. You have a new home. You can say thank you and build statues of me later. So what's my new mission? Uh, okay. Where's that regulator? Thanks for the prime trans rights. That was easy. Yeah, the campaign can be beaten in 30 minutes. What do you mean I don't like games like this in general? Oh my I love gosh, Fallout. She is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship, working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. And now that I've killed your boss, you can do that. I know Edgewater's god, but every time I think of going back, I get this sinking feeling. Is it because I decapitated a man in front of you? If so, you should really get over it. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, well, it's kind of you to say that. And Sleep well, Snow Cone. I wasn't happy. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But can I come with you? Absolutely. I could tend to your engine. My engine I know used my could use some tending. And I can keep your ship singing. My G valves, eh? Yep. Yeah. That's certainly one word for that spot. Too. What do you think? I say it's a great idea. <laughs> yes, that's a reminder of the death that I caused. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. Pretty cool, right? I never got along with Mr. Thompson, but I don't think he deserved to die. He tried to do his best. Yeah, and he was bad. He was bad at it. I don't know about that. Mr. Thompson wasn't an evil man. He wasn't given to violence. Well, he didn't help him in the end now, did it? If McDevitt were here, I'd wager she'd agree with you. Edgewater was on the verge of collapse before you showed up. You sent them power, and mm -hmm. now the town might see another season. Yes. And you talked Miss McDevitt into coming back to town. And what do you call a person that does that? Day, Edgewater will have a garden. A hero. And a boyfriend. You ain't exactly a stranger anymore. You've done some kindness hereabouts. I wouldn't mind following somebody like that. Let's do it, baby. Yes! I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain. I can call you Captain now. Yes. Ah! I got a captain. Well, let's hop aboard. Great news, computer. I killed multiple captain, men today. I have detected that Edgewater's power supply. What can I do for you, Captain? You can fly this shit out of here. Do you know how to install a power regulator? Nope. Outstanding, Captain. I guess Your I do. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. Let's do it. Do you hear that, Parvati? Good news. We'll be flying any minute now. <clears throat> well, it didn't take engineering genius to put that in there. It's like one of those fucking toddler toys where you put a square in the square slot. I can do that all day. Not ever making a mistake. What can I do for you, Captain? I installed the power regulator. All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low-altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. I don't think I can do Max's storyline, though, right? He's the soldier, right? Which one's, which one's Max? I don't remember now, to be honest. But yeah, I don't think I can do that storyline since I killed Reed in Coldblood. 
Oh, Ludwig is the soldier. Yeah, I don't need him. I can still do Ludwig's quest even though I killed Reed, the literal person he was fighting for. We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experience you wouldn't believe the crazy I've shit I've done, Phineas, in such a short time. I assure you. Good, great, excellent. Let's move on. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, uh, basic necessities. Sounds like they need a murderer. Dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals. To I don't trust Phineas. Colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Man. Oh, can I just leave? Without a skip drive? Good oh. luck. You'll be dead before you make it to the nearest star. Look, I admire your optimism, but the sad truth is you're stuck here. You, me, and the rest of this colony. We're all skating precariously around the edge of oblivion together. None of us are leaving Halcyon alive, so we may as well make it a better place. And we can start by reviving the hope. Alright. Whatever. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting edge technology years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the captain's... Quarters. Well, I can promise you one thing, Phineas. I will not be doing any stealth. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power. But it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Well, the colony's not really doing that great. If you are ready you know? to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Will do. Where's the shroud? Do I have to go to Mixer? Fuck restricted areas. If I want to get in there, I have basically the skeleton key. I'll just fucking bash heads in. Wow, look at all these planets! Reached the that was quick. Let's what? What do you want, Parvati? You here to complain about the murder again? Hey, I told you get over I it. The Groundbreakers got a real good engineer. Thanks to the prime corn flake. I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. Sure. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Okay. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? Nope. I can just send her home. Just just walk out the front door. No, you're not getting an escape pod. Just do your best. Spank her. 
Well, I don't know if I have that kind of gameplay unlocked yet. Ah, hello, Jane. Just checking your ship's manifest. Standard procedure. Welcome to Groundbreaker, by the by. It's good to see you too, Jane. That's not the point. Yeah, Customs and inspection, right this way. Nope. I'm keeping my weapons. Damn, I'm one blue thing away from hacking that. Oh, extreme strategy. Free weapons. Parvati, your captain is a genius. Where, how do I get over there? Oh. This is a door. Wow. What is this, a casino planet? Well, a casino ship? Hello, Glad. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. Yes. You here for a particular Thanks for the resub, I see. Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. Just like store bought. Well, I don't give a fuck about your cookies. What is that? Who cares? Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. They wouldn't dare. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. <sighs> now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested I in. I probably have enough bits. I murdered a very wealthy man and got paid for the murder after... Well, I don't have enough bits. You old bitch, are you out of your mind? 10,000 bits. Jesus Christ. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little... Moral flexibility. You couldn't have found a better I candidate. help out the groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... Nope. Do you know Edna over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Angie Cleo abandoned <gasps> that place Cleo. years ago. Let's do it. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. All right, who needs to die though? Send me on assassinations. Each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Here, take a candy with you. <laughs> Thank you. But I hate sweets. Don't you ever make that mistake again. I mean it, Gladys. I've already killed a man. Oh yeah, hold on, before I forget. I forgot all about that book for Max. What a shame, what a shame. But anything for you, for, uh, for Parvati. Are you listening to me, Emperor? Go back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastard. And you pay this man for more offers for information needed to the capture of Lord Terrence in his world. Report any sightings to your... How the fuck do I get over there? 
What's up, Ike? Do you mind if I rob your cash register? That's a cool blade. The second you turn around, I'm stealing it. Just giving you fair warning. You have to turn around a bit. Parvati, make a distraction. Make a scene. God, Jesus. What kind of shitty job is this? Just staring at that? I'll come back for it. Hello, Ethel Gabler. Thanks for the prime ding dong. Oh, here we go. I can't get over this. What's up, Greasy? Party greeting, potential customer. Welcome to Auntie's Kitchen, where this unit dispense proteins for you. I'll pass. This unit is programmed to simulate shock at such assertions. Shock Thanks for the reset of this. Hey, shock simulation restore. Initiating shock subroutine. How dare you? Shock Huge. Complete. Hi. Estimated guilt level of customer increased by 35. Hi, big piece of shit. Resuming protein dispensation protocol. May this unit dispense proteins for your ingestion. No. No. I don't know why I bothered fixing his shock protocol. Can this guy see me if I hack into this? Because that's like the only way I'm getting back there, it seems. Unless there's like a bottom floor that I'm missing. Which there must be. Oh. Thanks to the Prime Tactical Potatoes. It's a giant door? What's a giant door? Thanks for the prime oddity. Oh, I keep... It's so hard for me to discern the doors from the walls. They look exactly the fucking same. It's the second time I've done that. Bye, Bye big piece of shit. Thank you, man. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Ah, yes, Kotaku. I forgot that I named myself that. The Galactic Scourge. No, it isn't. It's a mess. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Thanks to the resub, Doctor. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. And the resub, the Long Duck. The crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Glad you like the WWE. Ain't that always the way? So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. I'm here to murder. Really? Statistics don't lie. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprouts. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different. So welcome aboard. If you only knew the blood on my hands. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. Hey, she's what mine. I, for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with... Actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. No, no, it is not. We're gonna keep this. Hey, now, I thought I was gonna get laid. I guess three sums on the table, though, maybe. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if. Well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Uh... What helps? Right. In person. Sh sure thing, Captain. Wow, great. I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your, your name's pretty too. I should have said... Sorry. I, I like it. Honest. Sorry. This sucks. Do I not get laid? Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. 
now, if there's nothing else. So I'm just a perpetual space planet. wingman? You're right, I don't. The board is after two things, bits and power. And they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. I placate them when I have something to offer, but <clears> I can also be a real hard ass. You think you're a hard ass. I walked into a man's office and cut his head off. Docking fees in my lifetime. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. You've got my attention. Uh, my other question was goodbye. Thank you, Junlai. That'll be all. Oh, this, wait. Yeah, this one. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information needed to capture a boarding pirate in the info. Report me If I talk to a woman at the entrance of this place, I can pick up a bounty to kill a guy with a flamethrower down where I went in the elevator. Let's do it. I've been itching for a little murder in cold blood. Thanks to the Prime Phantom Pooper. She said there's a lady here that gives me that bounty. Is it her? Hey, be careful with those crates, huh? No, that's a man. No, I take that back. That's a boy. It's an edgy looking boy. It is. Is it you? It's not you. Ah, uh, definitely Mardet. Nope, not Mardet. Oh, it's more inside? Gotcha. Move along. Mardet, didn't I just... God, you move fast. Jesus, Mardet. Fastest legs in the spaceship. Mardet, what? Hey. Is this not a name? I thought Mardet was a name. God, I've been had. Whatever. You said entrance into the left. Her? Oh, shit. Uh, how do I use the holographic shroud? I shouldn't have exited out of that. Wrong button. Oh, the shroud's automatic. Good. Unless you're here to file an incident report or to inquire about the bounty posting, I must kindly ask you to clear out. The Mardet's offices aren't for leisure time nor loitering. Just give me a bounty. I'm looking to murder. Got a hot one for you. Captain Gunner McRed. Just 26 hours old. Uh, the posting, that is. Not the criminal. Hmm. Then it'll be an even fight. Uh, allegations include several counts of flying under the influence, carrying open alcoholic containers, failure to pay docking fees, resisting arrest, and assaulting not one, but two officers. Murder him then, yes? <sighs> Dreadful, ain't it? Such blatant disregard for order. It's a real problem in the youth these days. It's true enough that he ain't particularly deadly, but the interest on each fine being compounded as Hey, they are, Charlie, I'm pretty much in love with you at this point. Luigi's Mansion 3 it. comes out in a few Last hours. Any chance we'll be seeing face. you play it? You I love board? Luigi's Mansion, so Save absolutely. But not in a few hours. I'll play it tomorrow and stream it. You and about six other enterprising mavericks. It's only a matter of time before someone brings me McRed's head. Or his lucky lighter as proof of kill. I'm probably gonna chop his head I do off, hope so. You're the lucky hunter, though. Good luck and skip speed to you. Okay. Nope, wrong way. I'm coming, Mac Red. Well, all right.
I like how fast you sprint in this game. That's really nice. You can traverse the areas very quickly. McRed, your time is up! Yeah! Alright, easy enough. One of these days I'll actually talk to someone before I kill them, but it's not going to be today. I wasn't looking at my health. I thought I could charge forward a bit more. Did I get the what perk? Well, uh, I'll try talking to him this time. What's up, McMurad? Maybe we can settle this with words. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> yum, yum. Okay. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Uh oh. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to... Oh, how am I not... How is my intimidate stat not high enough? I'm fucking intimidating as all shit. You stumbled into my court without an invitation, neighbor from above. If you don't... Right. Well, now I'm at a disadvantage. Okay. I need to get him with the element of surprise. I am really surprised that my intimidation isn't high enough. Yeah, if only I had a cinder block. What is- where can I see that stat? Oh, it's only 25. Yeah, I put everything into the melee, I forgot. Maybe what I'll- okay, how about this? Maybe what I'll do from now on, and it's too late to really change course, but I'll put everything into Intimidate. Maybe I'll take all of the stats out of everything else and only have everything in Intimidate, and I'll just be super intimidating, but if anyone ever calls my bluff, I'm fucked. Yeah. Yeah, I might do that. Okay, one down. Shit! Oh god, he's looking right at me. God, all I have is melee weapons and this. Okay. Shit. Alright, my actual gun damage is, uh, kinda weak. Yeah. Well, I don't really want to waste any more health stuff. Parvati, you okay over there? Oh, do it. Do it. You fucking idiot. I missed. Wow. That was a good dodge from that guy. I'm okay, Parvati. You just... You stay back. No, no, just stay here. Yeah. Thanks for the resub, the man of trash. Okay, maybe stay over there. Really... Well...
Do it. Make the mistake. Yeah. Huge plays. That's big. That's big. Are you bad guys? Yeah! My appetite for blood has not been quenched. But I took a lot more damage there than I was expecting. Parvati, watch out! Ooh, good news. New weapon. The DPS on it's pretty shit though. Though this is good. Wow, it's strong. This is not, though. Not like this! Why?! Man, that overhead slap is, uh... It's tough to aim. Follow my lead, Parvati! <gasps> yeah, I'm doing it again! Whoop! Look at that bunny hop away. I'm gonna stop using the charge. I swear to god, this thing never fucking hits. No! So far, the melee build has not been as effective as I would have liked. There we go. Alright, let's finish killing all of the criminals down here and then we can leave. Are you an enemy? This thing looks straight out of Anthem. I don't really want to wake it up if it's not an... Uh, heavy armor is good? Well, I don't have any armor, so... Shit. Nothing. Just the wind. Don't open it! He <laughs> should have never trick-or-treated over here. Don't open it. Now that you know it's on the other side. You don't want to do that. What? Jesus, how did he open it from so far away with his fucking mind? Good guy or bad guy? Bad guy. Oh, I haven't seen any new faces down here since I arrived. Not sure. You know, I just killed like a hundred men to get here. The grid tends to incinerate anyone who comes by. I killed him. Ah, oh, that's too bad. I mean, he was a scary fucker, total pyromaniac, but... You know how it is, you meet a guy, get used to his quirks, and then blam! I'll get back to my post. See you topside, stranger. Be seeing you, stranger. Alright, bye-bye, Dixon. Can I use this food for something? Mm. So they each give their own little bonuses? Okay. No mods. Uh, a couple of those. Quest stuff. And then piles of shit. Great. I really want to hit this thing. I'm doing it. Well, that was easy. 
Oh, it's not dead. Oh, now it is. It's so cozy. It's broken. What do you mean it's cozy? It's fucking broken. Pretty sure I've cleared the whole area now. That's huge. I'm probably the first person to ever do this. Everyone get branded when they join Madrid's crew. Yeah! You can't escape. You should have never turned to a life of crime. Now I'm getting the hang of it. Cool garden. Damn, I'm getting so many guns and shit, which is a shame because I can't use them. Well, I mean, I can, it's just worthless. Okay. <clears throat> Everything downstairs is clear. I at least want some nice even numbers. Oh wait, that's not what I wanted. Whatever. I'll just do all dialogue things then. I can respect at my ship. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that though. I'll, I'll be fine. Especially since I go on these murderous rampages, collecting a lot of XP along the way. I'm not worried about it. Thanks to the resub rocket lounge. It's alright so far. I don't think it stands up to, like, Fallout games, per se. But it is fun. It's not bad. How goes the hunt? I've been ruminating on it, and I decided if you ain't killed McRed yet, I want you to hurt him a little before well, you. Well, he's dead. He's not super dead. Excessive, mind you, but the scoundrel deserves a light beating at least before he kicks off. He's he's dead. Yeah, he's super dead. I believe I'm growing fond of you, bounty hunter. If you got the Mardettes' backs, the Mardettes have got yours. Fuck yeah. Here's the bounty payout. When do we have sex? Nice work down there. With any luck, we can hire more sharp-eyed bounty hunters like you in the future. No, fuck that. Just hire me. Oops. Nah, I don't care about real damage stats. I'm fine with the uh, the fake damage stats, I guess. Watch this jump. Speedrun strats. Oh, there's an invisible wall there, I think. There is. Why would you do this? Hey there, you mind stepping back? This charming little ship <gasps> and I'm afraid I can't let you near it till what? not. Looks like I'm gonna have to kill someone else. Well shoot, that's a relief. Shouldn't take you more than a moment to get it all properly understood then, right? Jane, if you give me that sass one more time. Nice is ninety percent of the job. Have yourself a pleasant day. Uh, I should probably ask her who I talked hey to about that. You talked to Mr. Udom yet? Thanks. I'm afraid I... I don't really know. 
I'd surely love to, but that's just mm. not my bailiwick. You'll want to have words with our representative here from the board, Mr. Udom Bedford. The promenade, eh? All right, I'm off. Jesus Christ. I hope this is the direction to the promenade. Thanks to the resub, Sir Max. Uh, probably not it. Probably not it. What's a flaw offer? I don't really understand. What's the point? Just or what? It's just another perk point. Uh, is that worth it? Yeah, I get that the, it's a free perk point, but that doesn't seem worth it. Yeah. Where's Mr. Udon? Well, he's probably not down there. Probably not there. It's on the other side. No, it's not. It's right here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, hello. Oh, this is quite unexpected. I didn't have any visitors on my schedule today. Who might you be? Murdering bounty hunter for hire. The captain of the... <laughs> no, no, no. That can't be right. Alex Hawthorne is the captain of that vessel. On top of that, I just impounded it. Yeah, but I killed Hawthorne, so. Oh dear. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Yeah, you you probably aren't ready for this. Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, <clears throat> what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? I impounded Alex's ship, not yours. Well, I guess it's yours now if you're captaining it. It's a a game we play. What a shitty I. game. I ask him to turn in Phineas Wells. He tells me he will soon. I impound his ship. He explains why he can't give me the info right now. I ask him to turn in Wells. Around and around we go. I'll turn in Wells if you give me my ship back. Oh, I can turn him in right here. Does that end the game? I feel like it would be a game over if I turned in, like, the main guy. I will never be a puppet of the man. Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there. I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go... Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? He could be anywhere in the world. He might even be right under your nose as we speak. That's... Uh, well, that's just terrible news. Oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? Well, that'll be all, unless you want to give me a hand job or something. Well, actually, I'm kind of curious. It's personal business, I'm afraid. Uh, miserably, terribly personal. Well, thank you for that. I hope you don't take my reticence the wrong way. I shouldn't have said anything. 
Now, how might I assist you? Can I help him and then it'll help me? I don't care even if that is the case. If the board doesn't kill him, I will. No one touches my ship. What did I do in Edgewater? I gave power to Edgewater, ran into Reed's office, and took his head off. Hey. There was no due process. Hey Chase, it's alright so far. Hey, you got a second? Hey, we don't know each other yet, but I'm Felix Millstone. I was in the middle of a little discussion with the local authorities when you passed me by. I noticed your ship in port. Got to thinking you might be looking for some crew. I'm not. So I wandered by. Just to take a closer look. Thanks to the prime in divisions. Only thing it's missing is me. <clears throat> I like the confidence you're in. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. You're one person. You're not a whole crew, but you're in. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not going to regret this. You got a crew now, Felix. <sighs> yeah, and I'm not happy about it, but he was so fucking persuasive. No, I probably won't moist meter this. It's already been up for like a week or so. I usually like to moist meter things as soon as possible. After that certain point, then most people I would recommend just looking up like a full playthrough and forming your own opinions on it. Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's... there's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth, the unemployed. For law's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Uh, no, 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 no. He's pretending. Captain, Paid actor. Capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Oh, dope. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Von Cortez, and Orson Shaw. Boo! Okay, I, I've been yawning all night. Fuck, I'm tired. Alright, well, let's roll. Where am I going again? I already immediately forgot. Am I going to Terra 2? Yeah. I like how fast everything moves here in terms of like actual traveling and everything. Alright, Felix, here's your big shot. Oh, I can take them both. I will absolutely moist meter Luigi's Mansion 3. Thanks to the resub cranberries. Berserk is a. Uh, we'll get there soon. Follow me, team. Necessary. We'll see about that. I felt like that was giving me speed, but it's clearly not. Game's good so far. <gasps> Berkey! What's up, Berkey? I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. Jurassic Park malfunction again? <laughs> now let's have two macho men square off against each other here. Your vagina hurt or something, soldier? You're powerful free with that tongue of yours. Yeah, I'll tongue that butthole if it's in a second if you're not careful. You got me. Just mm. testing your metal. What are you gonna do about it? Make Not me fuck you? Left me anyways. Yeah, I didn't think so. You couldn't handle me fucking you. Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. Oh, where I forget. Anti Cleos makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap spacer's choice pedals. Thanks, Berkey. And remember who the bigger man here today was. The 
If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Perfect. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? No, but I'll still take your life if you want to just give it away like that. Ooh, that's intense. What? I, um, I'm Anton Crane, the lead scientist here. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I, uh, may have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. Standard operating procedure for suits, boss. They're all a bunch of cowards. Ooh, right in front of him. I'm not sure it's right to fault a man for trying to survive. An attack. One that I'd wager was due to the nature of my research here. More often than not, seems I'm the only one who sees the opportunity here. Yeah, what is it? To get eaten by dinosaurs? Take it to the good life once my research plays out. Byzantium. Recognition, money, proper facilities. No more uninspired dolts like my associates here. Ooh, you're the only one in here. And might you be the sort of person who's uh, not averse to risking your life? If the pay were right? That sounds fantastic. Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us. Shot up our labs and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they'll need not kill me. Mmm, my persuade is high enough. You have a point there. It most decidedly cannot make the situation any worse. All right, we were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. <laughs> cool. Making teeth whiter, one step at a time. Toothpaste. One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. <gasps> what is it, dog shit or something? Not just any diet toothpaste. The ultimate diet toothpaste. Yes. But don't kill the mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. I'd rather not do that. Just let me murder. in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and key card. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original... by the Grand Architect. Jameson. He's in the old lab. That would surely lighten the weight on my conscience, as I am held to account for the well-being of every scientist here. Too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name, as it were. And far too much paperwork. Alright, let's do it. Another side quest in the books. Uh, so where's your safe? I'm here to rape and pillage. Your safe has been looted, you realize that, yes? Oh, right, yeah, I definitely should do that. Here, I'll give, uh... Well, actually, that's good shit right there. I'll give her the flamethrower. And nothing else. I don't want her. Well, I can't give her nothing else. Oh, she has to have a melee hey, weapon. Charlie, just the weekly reminder that I love you and still trying to get to current episodes of the podcast. Plaza let Andrew know I love. No, oh, that was sweet. Thanks, Fantasy. And thanks for the resub, Wisp. Uh, where the fuck is his gas or whatever? Oh, I can change your style in here? Yeah, it looks good. 
That's cute. No, I want to use the gas. I want to make Anton happy. He's working on toothpaste. Which one do I prefer? Dark Souls 1 or 3? Probably 1. That's a good point. Okay. Well, I don't know where the gas is, so, well. This crane guy cares more about his research than his own people. Oh, the gas is in the lab? Oh, I thought it was in that building. This is a bad guy? It's a bad guy! Oh, Christ! God damn. I got some better armor, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now I'm looking like an old school, like, Mad Max pirate or something. I don't think anyone necessarily needs an appetite suppressant. Just play, like, a long-form game, like League of Legends. You'll be so distracted, you'll forget to eat. It's a legitimate advice, by the way. Oh, you just killed a civilian. Smells today. Ooh, is that even better armor? Oh, that's huge. Holy shit. Finally, my melee playthrough can be effective. Yeah! Thanks to the resub docs. Damn it, I don't have the sedative. Don't kill it! No! The Raptodons. I've made my companions hey, too strong. You. Oh, good. You're not shooting at me. That's a start. It's been a bit of a day, so I'll get to the point. Yes, I have Crane's research. No, I'm not giving it back. Sorry to disappoint you. Well, the conversation's over then. I suppose it does not matter. Either Crane sent you, or you are some scavenger. Let's make a deal. I'd like to go on living. You'd probably like to make some- Sounds good. You mean other than the satisfaction of doing me a good turn? Trust me, hmm. I'll make it worth your while. Sounds good. Oh, can I keep flirting? I am good for my word. You will be equitably rewarded on my honor. Okay. I tried. The first thing I need is a key card to unlock my door. There are two ways out. The quickest is through the front door, but Cleo the other way out is through the loading bay. But you'd have to clear out the raft. You might be the first stroke of luck I've had all day. All right, Christ. There's a lot of missions going at once. Thanks to the resub, James. I think you could jimmy that one. I can hack it. Doesn't look too bad. Boss? Nope, I didn't mean to talk to you. 
Thanks for the anonymous gift sub. Appreciate it. Fuck, so many markers. That's the last of them. Damn turncoat. You must think me a fool. I was just about to fight him. I was watching him. on the security cameras. You got downright friendly with the outlaw leader. What? I reckon we got nothing to say to each other. You best back yourself. I've back. murdered everyone I've encountered in here. Oh, that girl in the cage is the outlaw leader. Ah. Uh... You got one minute. Shit. Tell your friends that. Well, do you mind if I level up and come back? Thanks to the resub, social butts. Thanks for that. Appreciate it. Uh, that's not where I want to go. You know, I really don't want to help her. I would ask what was... Nothing beyond the purview of a talented freelancer. You really expect me to just let them pass? Why? I'll Never just keep mind. trying this. I'm obviously in no position to argue with you. Take your time. Alright, let's see. Maybe that opened a new option. Can I level up again? I can't. I only need a little bit more in my persuade. I can level up Felix. Ah, oh, you're in. It's helpful. Just in time. <laughs> Oh, that gives me plenty. Now I can absolutely persuade the guy. Great news! I'm coming back with a different offer. I'm now a little bit more persuasive than the first time you met me. I'm gonna give you to the count. You convinced her to let us leave in peace. Yes. Listing the ills we've been done ain't exactly putting me in a mind to compromise. Think it's that easy, huh? You fly in. How do you even know I came ship, on a fancy ship? Words, and everyone... You ever had a good thing? A place it felt like you were supposed to be? I had that here. Stop crying and just fucking leave. I reckon I don't see any better solution. Fine, damn it. We'll pull out. I solved this using the pin instead of the sword. Great news, outlaw in a box. I made him leave. I would ask what I made him leave, though. Okay. I still don't have the gas. Wait, don't go down there. Where the fuck is the gas here, man? Oh, it's like be. No, it's not even behind her. Never imagined I'd say this, boss, but even a raptor gun deserves better. Hmm.
Makes the prime raccoon his best. Oops. I forgot that it's a side quest, you're right. Is that the right one? No. Which one is it? Did I do it? None of these are marking any gas canisters. This is a gas canister? Oh. Oh, I thought it'd be like marked or something, but I guess not. Okay, well now I know what to look for. I've got one. I need two more. Legendary weapon and in inventory? Do I? This is a legendary weapon? Cool. I don't want to kill any raptodons if I can help it. vendor I'm missing one more gas can luckily my companions have murdered every single raptodon we've seen so They'll surely love us soon. Hey, you boys seen any gas canisters? I like how these guys can just let bygones be bygones even after I killed like a ton of their friends. I respect that, just being the bigger men. Set. Time to deal with Cassandra now. Finally. You're welcome. I've never been so pleased at the sight of an. Please tell me you. Yes. So you have. And now, if you do not mind. Good. I never trust a friend. Ooh, that's a fat amount of bit cartridges. Oh, yes. Orphans. Is that what you are calling yourself now? Here. Let it never be said that I do not reward good work. Easy. And then one for my mother. And two for your mother. Oh, really? And...
God damn it. That's unlucky. I'm one point away. Can I come back to this? Do you, uh, can we keep this on ice real quick, Cassandra, while I level up and put a couple more points into my Intimidate? Fuck. Damn and blast. Oh, well that works. Was coming. Here, take the damned research. Tell Crane I hope he chokes on it. Uh, just, just in case, I'm gonna throw some points in here, just you know, for good measure. Easy. I feel like doing these dialogue options is very easy uh, progress. Then I never have to make any choices. Everyone's happy. <clears throat> Though I do like making choices, like slitting that man or cutting that man's head off for no reason. What's up, Felix? Alright. All of these are bad, I'm just gonna save. How do I open a tier two? Oh, I need five previous perks. Stop! You picked the wrong damn day. What happened? I don't know what happened there, but there was some bad blood brewing somewhere. That peace that I fostered didn't last very long. Damn right we left the lab. What's left there that's worth that no account fool Porter and his crew are even more worthless than I could have imagined. I told them to leave it. Ooh, should I lie? Yeah. That's all manner of distressing. There truly is nothing left for me. Did you find my colleague, Jameson? I totally forgot about him. Well, please keep me apprised of your progress, sister. Hey, no, come back. I was kidding. I have yes. the research. I have the research. No, no, no. I have your re. Hey, j ask me again. I have your research. Thanks to the Prime, Nick. Well, please keep me apprised. Well, that's a shame. How many bits did I need? 10k. So, how many bits do I have? Where's my bits? Where does it show my bits? Oh, top left. I have 3,000. Fuck. Oh, what time is it? 12.30? I'm gonna take a piss. I'll be right back. I'm back. Hmm. I'm debating calling it a night or not. I can't decide. I 
Am I going to play the new Star Wars game? Yeah, I play every new game that comes out. And that actually looks really good. I don't like Star Wars games, but that one looks really fucking good. Here's the Prime Robust. Mm. Yeah, it's already been like three hours. I'll probably just beat it off stream. Tomorrow I'll play Luigi's Mansion. No, oh, don't say that. I don't want to shrink. I'm already short. Looks like slow-ass Dark Souls. What? How the fuck does it look anything like Dark Souls? Have ever thought about becoming a K-pop star? I... You know... Yes. Yes, I have. Yes, yes, I have. Alright, I am gonna call it a night. Alright, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. To everyone who donated, big thanks. New subs, welcome aboard. Sub means a lot to me, so thank you for subbing, and I hope you enjoy all the emotes. Sleep well, everyone. See ya.